In this video, we're going to have a look at the exciting Linux Mint 21.3, also known as Virginia, the Cinnamon Edition. Hi, you've tuned into the Unboxing with Marty channel. If you enjoy this video, subscribe. Okay, well, what are the system requirements to run Linux Mint? Well, here they are. You're going to need 2 gigabytes of RAM, but 4 gigabytes is recommended. You're going to need 20 gigabytes of disk space, but 100 gigabytes is recommended. And resolution, 1024 by 768. You know, always a good place to get started when you're looking at uh, Linux Mint. Always start off with the welcome screen. Here we can see that we're running Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon Edition. You know, it's not a bad idea to keep this checked until you get familiar with the OS. This will bring up the screen on startup. And here we'll glance through some of the features of the welcome screen. Here you got first steps, documentation, help, and contribute. After you install the OS, most people want to have a look at the web browser first. The web browser that originates with the OS is Firefox. Good place to try the Firefox web browser is the uh, Linux Mint web page. Here you're going to learn that Linux Mint comes in what's called flavors. So let's see what kind of flavors do we have. Well, we have Cinnamon Edition. We have a Mate Edition. We have XFCE Edition. And we have a Cinnamon Edge Edition. All right, this is fun. Here we can resize the listing. Just check it out. Grab the corner, drag it up, drag it to the right, bring it back to the left. But yes, you can resize this if you choose to. Just take a quick look. You can see this operating system has plenty of applications. Here we're going to look at accessories, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, administration, preferences, places, recent files, and from all applications you can see them all at once. And to move from top to down and down to up you can always do this drag. And in addition to that, besides your scrolling your mouse wheel, hovering your mouse pointer at the top or the bottom will facilitate a, a scrolling effect as well. And for some of us, the firewall is important. Once you key in your password, it's just a matter of clicking here to enable, or you can click again to disable your firewall. And here's your LibreOffice Writer. Oh, and here's your mouse and touchpad. You know, for me, sometimes I do like to make the pointer a little bit larger. It makes it easier to see. Here you go. Then I'll just bring it back to the normal size. What we're going to look at next is the software manager. Of course, this is very important. This is where you go to get apps to add to your operating system. I'll be honest, this, this did take a while to load. So I'll tell you what. Stick around for an important message 
and then we'll continue with the video. Hey, how you doing? You're watching the Unboxing with Mark channel. You know, if you're enjoying this video and the videos on this channel, now might be a good time to hit that subscribe button below. Uh, that being said, let's get back to the video. Like I said, here it is. This is your software manager. You go here uh, to search out and find apps that you want to add to your Linux Mint 21.3. And of course, we all want to have a look at Terminal. This is kind of fun. This is Themes. Uh, it's kind of fun to play with it and we'll give it a try right now. So I'm going to move Themes over here a bit. And what I'll do is open up Home. And I'm just going to drag it so they're side by side. That way, as we change some of the themes, we can see what the effects are of the themes. I mean, really, come on, it was kind of fun, wasn't it? And of course, we'll have a quick look at backgrounds that are available with uh, the operating system. I mean, just by glancing through this, you can see there are plenty of backgrounds to choose from here. Going to be hard to make up my mind. What do you guys think? You know, I kind of like this one, so I'm going to switch to this for now. And we're going to have some more fun. What we're going to do is we're going to open up several windows here. Uh, we're going to open up the uh, browser. We're going to open up Home. Let's open up uh, Libra Office Math. And let's open up, well, let's see... Let's open up uh, LibreOffice Writer. Yes, you can expand the window to full screen. Drag that window to the right center. You're now using 50% of the screen. Drag another window to the uh, left center, and now you're doing a 50-50 split. Take one of those windows and drag it down to a bottom quarter. Look at that. You can see where this is going. We are now going to be doing quarter screens. Let's just drag this one over here. And last, let's drag this one over here. And look at that, we're using quarter screens. Here we'll take one of the screens and we'll go to the right center and now we're using a half screen and two quarter screens. And now we're up to 100% of screen. And I'm gonna leave you with system settings. This is always helpful to have access to. As you can see here, it's broken into sections. Here you have appearance. You'll recognize both backgrounds and themes that we looked at. Here we have preferences. This section is hardware. You'll remember that we looked at mouse and touchpad earlier. Administration and you also remember that we looked at firewall. Well, that'll bring us to the conclusion of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And oh, remember to tell your friends. And as always, thank you.